Life's in bad shape, doesn't it, Robert? It definitely ain't in great shape. But you know what? At one time it was. So, um, gotta be careful. Well, you gotta be careful with the step on right here, too. Hey everybody, it's Robert and you're watching Sidestep Adventures and on today's video I've got the other Robert and Cody with me and we are going to explore an 1840s plantation house lost out here in the woods of Georgia. Now you'll know to keep out sign on the front of the house. We do have permission to be here today. So only go exploring these places if you have permission. But that being said, Let's get started walking around the outside. And first thing is this porch right here is not original. It's poured concrete. Check out this, these steps here, which may be original. It originally would have had a wood porch. It's long gone. You can see some of the remains of the wood porch right there. And over here we have the original columns that would have held up the porch. This is a huge house and whoever whoever built this house was definitely very well off back in this time period. This is this is big even for some of the plantation houses I've seen. What do you think that was, Robert? This is a modern add-on. A gas line. I think so? Yeah. You know, I wonder if they had one of those carbide gas generators out here like they do at the old bird farmhouse. We found at the birdhouse. Yeah. We couldn't, it took us a while to identify it. Yep. That would explain why it's coming from under the house going up to, looks like the second floor. Wouldn't be water going up there. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have it on the outside. And can you see the, I don't know if you can see it from here, the foundation of that tall chimney. That brick chimney has that big rock foundation to it. If you can get in there or not to see that. Good shot. They may have already got it. But look at the look at the very top of this house. A little rod sticking up. Oh, is that a lightning rod? Yeah, that's what that is. It's a lightning rod. And you, you know what else I noticed about this house? This is an addition right here of some type. I don't know what this addition is. I don't know when it was added on. But you can see how they butted it up to the original house. That was the original house right there. And this has got to be an addition. What do you think? An early addition. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. An addition, no doubt. And you can see the porch. Porch has got reworked over the years because there's modern cinder block right there. Yeah. Let's go over here and look at this pink. Almost looks like pink paint. It's not pink paint, it's just dust on the side of the house. Yeah. Oh, look, look at the windows. There's little shutter hangers right there. See the hardware? Oh yeah, 
There it is. So we're standing on the collapsed porch too. This yep. is all the way to the ground. More of these columns. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's just a piece of pine. Yep. It that knotted out yep. of the floor. That's the knot. The knot didn't rot. Yeah. Trying to figure out how this wind just was added on. This has got to be an add on. Except by the way it goes. In there. It's very close if it's an add on and not original built. The reason that I would think that it's an add on is most of the plantation era houses that I've seen down here are just square, the square federal style houses. Uh -huh. yeah. And don't have a uh, something jutting out like this. Usually, I think they're usually like four rooms uh, downstairs yeah. and four rooms upstairs. Mm -hmm. And that's Virginia Creeper, I think, growing up the chimney. It's better than Wisteria. Yeah. This house is, this is amazing, amazing piece of history. I think that's big. I like you can see this big rock pillar right there. There's one. There's one right there at that corner. Well, you know what I got to do. What? I got to crawl up under the house. <laughs> yeah, you after, go ahead. After we walk around it. Yeah, let's go on the other side and look. So, the kitchens were always separate, right? Mm hmm And uh, sometimes there would be a walkway going to it, or sometimes maybe even a covered area going to it. And the reason was... Because if the fire, because they cook in the kitchen area, if the fire got out, it wouldn't burn the whole house down. Yeah. Also kept the house cooler, too. Yeah, summertime. Yep. You'd cook in another building, yeah. Can you see that right there? That little notch there in the wood. See that? That's a notch. In yeah. I see. Hey, one thing that may answer some questions is, is that square nail construction over there or round nail? Hmm. You know what? That's a square nail right there. I think that one is, look. Yeah. yeah. Those are square nails. Square headed nail. So this could be going off the nails, a pre-1880s add-on, or this could be the original original kitchen right here obviously we've got a, a chimney right here where there would have been another fireplace and what they connected this it. was the original two-room house that's a good thought when he first moved here he builds the first original house a two little small room house the captain does really well he's a planner makes a good living adds on the other house yep that's a good idea we've that's seen a good that before yeah actually you think the bird house was like that yeah you? i do yeah very neat and also another thing robert is look behind you. I found their garden. Yep. All the daffodils are blooming. They are. There's got to be a. Uh... Well, look at that little outbuilding right over there. Did we see that one already? Oh, we need to look at that. Is. We'll look at that on the way out because I want to get around to the back. I'm looking for the whale. The house could have a whale coming. Yeah, look for the well without falling into it. What is that? Is that uh, part of the lightning rod or? Oh, look at the insulator on the side of the house there. Some type of electrical. Oh, that could be a lightning rod buried into the ground. That's what that is. Isn't it? You see the insulator? Yeah. Right there. That's pretty cool. Hey, gas lines. Look at that, up on the side of the house right there, just like on the old bird farm house. Pipe right there? Yep. 
Just like the old bird farm so, house. So there would be a underground gas tank somewhere out here. Yeah, the old gas generators. Wow. This is a big house. Just look at the double windows here. They're boarded up, but one, two, three, four. You know what, Robert? I'm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, and I could be wrong. Maybe this was a separate house right here, and they just built the plantation house and connected the two. Added it right to it. And I could be wrong, but this has another chimney inside of it. So this place has a chimney on the far side over there over there where the kitchen was all the way down there and then another one here but you know I know one good way to tell about stuff I gotta go under it you know what you need to follow me right here because I see the other lightning rod wire ground over here and we're gonna see can you make it through here I won't say yeah I get it I think it's got you it's got you it's got you what's the back different foundation the other lightning ground Ron and actually you can see it actually goes up and I saw it for a walk oh up yeah there. the rod goes to the far left around the ridge of the left side there left building that's connected to those insulators yeah there and then goes up and look at the brick footing the rock footing yeah that foundation stone right there has seen uh seen better days There's another rock right there and here's where the two buildings join together all right, well, I'm going under. And look at that big pillar right there. Oh, you know what? There's a big, you can see, look at that big pool of water. It looks like it's some type of a reservoir. Can you see it from where you're at? Yeah, I do. We might get a closer look on the other side. It looks like a pool underneath there, doesn't it? It does. All right, so now it's the Sidestep Adventure special of Robert going up under the old house. Whoa, which Robert? It's in the contract. No, oh. no I ain't going Oh, that's right. That was the one stipulation in your contract was I had to go You had to go right there. Oh, I can't believe I wrote that contract. You did. Usually I don't have any problems just sliding under these old houses. But... Yeah, this one's the one that's fixing to collapse. Yep. All right. We may not go under this house <laughs> as far as we usually do. Uh, no, I'm not. You go that way, I'm going this way. So one thing that I wanted to do was see what the construction looked like of, this is water pipe up over me, I see a spigot right there. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. I see that. Are you getting brave? Are you coming under? No, as far as I'm no. going. Well, let's see. And I apologize if my camera work isn't terribly steady under here. My other photographers don't want to come under here with me. All right, let's look. There's not much foundation under the other side of the house. And look at somebody did these, these funny tongue and groove board helpers, helpers for the floor at some time. But I don't see a big difference under these two parts of the house. The floor joists go the same way and it looks just about the same kind of construction under there. Although I see a lot of brick under here and more field stone under here. Look at that sketchy field stone pile right there. So, I don't know. Yeah, 
somebody came back there and took all the junk stone out and replaced it. Man, they put some blocks in here. Yeah, someone at some time tried to oh. keep it up. Yeah, that's actually they actually poured a concrete footing right there for the blocks. Yeah. Interesting. All right. I can't see what I'm filming right now, folks, so you'll have to uh, excuse me, but I also want to go look at that pool. This under there. Some kind of critter has a little cubby hole right there. So I've had my fill of crawling around under that house, which is unusual. It's unusual for me because normally I can just go and go under an old house, but I did find an old button under there. Let me leave it here for the property owner, but I'll show it to you guys first. No metal detector required. Did you find something there, Robert? This is a propane. Propane tank. Underground propane. Hold on, let me come over there. That's what this is. Oh, they had propane. Is it propane? Yeah, it's a propane tank. You know, I've got the exact same tank at um, the bird farmhouse. The exact same style tank. How old is that? I don't know. I can't tell you. That's the propane. It's showing that little dance in there, too. That's a real pool. That is either that's a pool or that is a reservoir or is that a root cellar that's flooded out. I got chicken before I got over there. Yeah. So, you know, root cellars are not extremely common in Georgia here. They're not, but some houses did have. They did. Areas for storage underneath. It's just to get through that And I think that this might be one of the rare instances where that is exactly what that is, because if you look. It's got a fieldstone corner. It's got right pour. There. It's poured concrete on top of the fieldstone. I'm looking for a. You see how squared off it is over there? Yeah. You know what? Either root cellar, tornado shelter, something like that. But that's what it is. I'm going to find out. How deep is it? You stay right there a second. I'm going to see if I can get down here. If I fall in, remember I can't swim. All right. It looks almost like this was an axle. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> you think that's the access where you're at? Yeah, that's about it. Now that's deep. Yeah, it is. Take my stick and prod right there and see if you feel steps going down in there. I see a wall over there, Robert. See that wall? I do. Yeah. Steps? Yep. So steps, that's the access right there. Steps went down in there, and that's every bit of uh, one, two, four, five. Four foot deep. Yep. And that's nice and creepy. Big, big footing for stone footing for this fireplace here. Matching fireplaces. Look. Oh, two fireplaces on this side. Yeah. Wow. Two of them. There's five. There's five uh, chimneys. Count. Chimneys here. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think that there was a I would have to go back and watch the video again but there's the old bedding field in the old stagecoach stop that I filmed and the lady who gave me the tour she told me that there was a tax a funny tax that they did on houses back then and I don't remember if it was by the closet by the window by the fireplace what it was but it was something strange I think it was like a closet tax it was weird And this was closed up. Yeah. This was all enclosed at one time. We'll have a peek under this side of the house. Find anything? Uh, no. Look at this one right here. So, what do you think this is? I think it's locked. It was locked there, yeah. But it, what was it like? I know what it was. What? It was an old pump house. Oh, you think so? Yeah. This is where the well was. That, I have not seen that type of a pump. I gotta come over and look at that pump. I haven't seen it. Look at that pump. So this is where the well was in reference to the house. What is that, uh, 20, 25 yards? That's 20 yards. Yeah. yeah. So here was the well. Wow, gosh, where's the flashlight? That's a hand dug well. Robert, I don't know if you can get a good shot of that or not. On this side where I'm at, you can see the dirt. Can you see here? Hold that flashlight. Oh boy. How many feet? Oh, she's a deep one. Here. She's a deep one. Let me hold the light. Well, I'm going to stick the camera down there. Don't drop the camera, please. <laughs> she got water in it, too. She's a deep one. Old hand dug well indeed. Yeah. Hello. So then at some point they added this old pump here, which is missing. It's missing the this is the valve, I think. Yep. It's missing the actual pump. Oops, that's the valve. Cool. Goulds. This is very, very old for our area. You have to remember that this part of Georgia wasn't settled until 1828. And a lot of the places that we see 
a lot of the houses that still remain are 1880s and later on. So when we find something that is as early as this, which we don't know for sure, but from the style of the house, I'm guesstimating 1840s, it could even be as early as the 1830s that this house was built. And it's just an amazing place, amazing piece of history that is still standing here. So you know what we have to do now, right? I think we go in there and look around. That's it. Yeah, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I'll follow you. No, the contract says you have to go first. Okay, let's go. Come on. 